Hi! In this video, we'll be talking about using the A-Frame Inspector. So introducing the A-Frame Inspector. The A-Frame Inspector is a visual tool for inspecting and tweaking our virtual reality scenes. So what does that look like? Well, we can open up the A-Frame Inspector by typing Control-Alt-I. You can find those keys here on the keyboard. So if we're in our VR world and we type Control-Alt-I, we will actually open up the inspector and see this. So the A-Frame Inspector is great for modifying the objects in the scene to get them just right. It is a tool we can use to explore the scene, modify our objects, really see what they look like in different perspectives. And if we select an object, we can actually change its position, we can change its size, its color, we can modify everything about the scene using this nice graphical interface. We can also use the inspector to modify the color, to add and remove certain components from the shapes that we're making. So it's a really nice tool for exploring and building your VR world and tweaking these objects to get them just right. Now I'm going to give you a fair warning that A-Frame is still under development. As of this video, it's in version 0.5, so we're not even at version 1.0 yet. It's still, you know, being developed constantly and being tested. So, some parts of A-Frame are buggy, including the inspector. Specifically, the inspector is great for modifying your scene, not for building your scene. So, to use the inspector properly, you should really type out all of your entities first in HTML, build your world, and then go into the inspector to tweak their attributes. So you really shouldn't use the inspector to build the entire scene from scratch. And be wary of the copy HTML button. I've specifically had issues with this button. It doesn't really copy the HTML you think that it's copying. And so if this button's broken, you may need to manually type out the attributes that you want inside your code after you get them just right in the inspector. So this is an important point that the changes you make in the inspector are not automatically made in your code. You still have to type that out in the code. The inspector is just a way for you to see what it could look like if you were to use these certain attributes. So use the inspector to tweak these objects, tweak these elements, find the attributes that you like, and then manually type out those attributes in the code. Maybe in the future the inspector will improve and changes you make in the inspector will automatically happen in your code. Uh, to stay up to date with the documentation for the inspector, you can use this link. So this link shows you everything you can do with the inspector. It's documentation for it. Uh, but for now, let's dive in and actually see some examples using the inspector here in the CodeHS editor. All right, so here I've set up a VR scene with several different shapes. I have a box, a torus, a cylinder, and a plane, and they all have an animation on them. So if we run this, we can see that our world's looking pretty good. It's animating back and forth. But let's say we want to change some things about these shapes and we don't know exactly the values we want yet. What we can do is actually open up the inspector and play around with each of these shapes. So I'm going to open up the HTML in a new window. And now I see my VR world in its own window. I can look around. And I'm going to type Control-Alt-I. And boom, we open up the inspector for that moment in the scene. We can actually look around the scene. We can zoom in and out just by scrolling on the mouse or the trackpad. And what I'm going to do is change some things about this cylinder. So I'm going to select the cylinder. And we can actually modify its position along the Z using this arrow, its position along the Y using this arrow, and along the X using this arrow. Or we can just grab it and move it around at will. Let's try to get it right on top of the box. So that looks good right there. Nice. And we can change its color as well. So in this side panel here, we can see everything about it. We can see its scale. So if I want to increase its X scale, we can do that. We can change its rotation. We can also use these buttons. So right now I'm modifying position. I can choose this to rotate. So I can rotate it in this direction or this direction. Let's try that. And we can go down to the material, change the color if we would like. Now the important thing here is if we like what we've made, we need to actually manually carry over these um, values back into our code. So if this is the color we want, I'm going to copy this and go back to here and set the cylinder's color to be what I've just copied. So now that's its color. If I go over here, I can set its rotation to be these values. So I haven't set a rotation yet, so let's add one. I'm actually going to 
make each of these more easy to see, easier to see. Uh, rotation is going to be this value, then a space, this value, and this value. And its position is going to be this value, this value, and this value. So now let's see what our word looks like. Awesome. So we were able to set these new attributes on the cylinder and getting it exactly right using the inspector. So the inspector is a cool tool for exploring your scene, modifying things about it, and tweaking it to get it just right. Now it's your turn to dive in and play around with the inspector.